this world. What beauty. It's unbelievable. Oh. Oh no. I'm... I'm so sorry. It's okay. It was an accident. I saw the whole thing. No. This... I had no idea. Your home is so... fragile. I suppose so. Never really thought about it that way. Everything is relative, I guess. Where I'm from, everything is metal. The ground doesn't sway when I walk. I don't leave marks where my feet tread. I should have known better. So, Optimus Prime. That's your name? Correct. Damn, that sounds cool. How'd you get a name like that? The Prime name was passed down to me from the previous leader of our kind. It signifies my role within the Autobot hierarchy. As much as I wish it were so, I did not come up with the name myself. Oh. And you? What kind of name is Spike? Uh, when I was little, my hair would always stick up like this. My mom called me Spikey. I guess it stuck. What is mom? You know, a mother. Mom and dad. These words are foreign to me. Well, my mom and dad, they made me, I guess? This is tough to explain. You know, family. Family. That is a concept I know well. And you know how much of a pain in the ass they can be. So, your mom and dad live with you. Here. On Earth. Well, my mom, she died a long time ago. And my dad, he's still here, barely. We live in Farmingham, the valley below the mountain. I see. If I didn't know better, I'd say that looks like a spaceship. Where are you from? I am from a place called Cybertron. It is beautiful in its own harsh way. For a millennia, before my spark came into being, there was peace. I heard stories of it all throughout my young years, but only knew a short time of prosperity there before the war. War? Our species was consumed by greed and power. Maybe it was always there, hiding since the birth of Cybertron. But to me, it seemed to raise its ugly head from nowhere, led by an extremist faction on our planet, the Decepticons. The red and gray one. The plane. Starscream is one of the many we have been fighting for centuries, among others. <laughs> for two centuries, my kind, the Autobots, had been fighting for the old ways of peace. But our casualties were astronomical. Our numbers had dwindled so badly that we had no choice but to abandon our home to our oppressors to scour the galaxy and find a new way to retake our home. We left in the ship you found us on, the Ark. It was during our escape that the most powerful of the Decepticons came to extinguish the spark of my kind forever. I have waited an eternity for this. During the fight, we lost control of our ship. The last thing I remember was seeing your planet right before entering its atmosphere. And you crashed into the mountain, where we found you. Thank you for your help in the midst of battle, Spike. Without you, I'm not sure we would have been able to escape. I'm sorry about your friend, the yellow one. Family. That was an excerpt of Transformers issue number two, written by Daniel Warren Johnson, who also did the pencils, and colored by Mike Spicer. I really recommend you checking out. It is some of the best Transformers writing we have gotten in a long time. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Share it with your friends. Favorite if you want to. I'm going to go work on some more videos. Spino, out.